Okay, so this week, um, week five, we're looking at SPSS homework that's just a practice for the exam for next week. Um, it's not going to be exactly the same, but it's going to be very similar. So what you see here is the regular assignment, and what I want you to do is to go ahead and copy everything and paste it into a Word document, which I have done here. Um, the data, this is the HRD data, and this here is the U.S. Social Survey data. So in the first one, for Part A, you're going to use the HRD, the Human Resources data, Database, and write your answers. Mm -hmm. So I ask, what is the mean and standard deviation for the variable salary? How many females work for the company? What percentage is employed in a non-technical position for the variable called level? What percentage was rated as high for the variable rating? How many workers are college graduates? So in the exam, you're going to do exactly the same thing with a different data set. <clears throat> Excuse me. And you're going to write down, you can either print it off or just, you know, do it in a Word document. And you're going to write down your answers. And then when you go into the exam, it's going to be multiple choice and you're going to select your answer from the multiple choice. So let me just show you what we'll do here. Let me pause it and pull up the... Okay, so the first um, exam or homework question says, what is the mean? And I have it here in the parentheses, M equals, that's how I want you to report it back to me. So you'll just copy and paste this up underneath. You'll just come under here and say M equals, and then we'll get to SD equals. So what is the mean and standard deviation for the variable salary? So let's go to my data set, and here's salary. I go to Analyze, Descriptives, Descriptives. I have all my variables here. I'm going to bring over salary. We know that um, auto-populated is the mean and the standard deviation. We don't even need this minimum and maximum, so we can take those away if we want. And we're going to say OK. And so we see that the mean is 53.08 and the standard deviation is 14.0. So I'm gonna, I want you to round to the nearest tenth place. So we're gonna say, well, no, I've already forgotten, 53.1 and 14.0. 53.1 .1 .1 .1 .1 and 14.0. 53.1 and 14.0. Okay, how many females work for the company? Well, where would I find this information? Let's look at the list of variables. Let's go to variable view. We've got years, gender, supervisor, salary, level, pre-score, post-score, rating, and education. All right, I know that gender, these all say scale, but I know that gender is a nominal variable. We have ones and twos. And so I'm gonna just go to analyze and frequencies, bring over gender, and just say OK. <clears throat> and it looks like we have 50% are male and 50% are female. And so I would report the answer to that question is how many females work for the company? And I would say 30 because I don't want the percent, I want the frequency. I want 30 as my answer. And you're just going to go through that for all of those. Um, Okay, hang on, let me... Now I'm going to open the U.S. Social Survey. This one's a little bit more um, involved. We've got 43 variables, sex, race, religion, and you can see we have labels and we have value labels. When I go into any, let's just go into frequencies. If you look here, you'll see that the labels are what are in this, um, I don't know what this is called, but this, this list of variables that we can select from. If I right click and say display label name, I then get the name of the variable. If I go back, I can do uh, the label. And then the value label is what we've given to each of the codes. So I'm going to use the variable name and let's just look at sex. Just leave it like we have it. So display frequency tables and say OK. We can see that there are 636 um, 
males and 881 females. And that's, this is real data from the real U.S. Uh, government. The social survey, I think they do it every five or I think it's every five years. Um, okay. So looking at the homework, I'm asking you to calculate frequencies and percentages on two categorical variables. I want you to copy and paste the SPSS tables below. I want you to turn that in, so that's A. For B, I want you to put it in an APA table. And then I want you to write up your findings using complete sentences. Same for two continuous variables, same, same directions. And that's it. If you can do this, you will do fine on the exam next week.